My name is Alicia Shepard. I'm MACP. My internship is with Sound, doing a partnership with Fair Start. I was looking for something different, and the Seattle School is definitely different. Um, I had known about Dan's work just through his books um, and kind of hearing him speak and just got interested. It took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to do. I, um, I'm a massage therapist and so I went to massage school when I was 19 and that kind of opened the door to holistic health and well-being and was looking for the thing that I wanted to do. And it was actually when I started going to therapy myself when I was in college that it all sort of clicked for me. And it's like, aha, this is what I wanna do. Since then I became interested in it and um, was looking for good therapy programs and found the Seattle School. The thing that I love about this school is they really ask us to put skin in the game. It's really hard to go through this program and not um, have it touch your story in a lot of different ways. And so constantly things of my story that maybe I haven't looked at in a long time or looked at in a particular way have come up. And it's been just really incredible to have so many people hold different parts of my story and with such care and love. Um, it's been really healing just personally. And then also it's allowed me to grow that capacity in my work with my patients now going forward. I think loneliness is really the number one thing. I can't remember the quote, but Mother Teresa said something like, um, the worst illness out there is loneliness, but the worst disease is loneliness. And being in a space where people really hear, really see you and can hold parts of your story that, that you haven't been able to look at um, has been really healing. And then I take that with me into my work with my patients all the time. Um, so much of what I see, no matter what the diagnosis is or what the presentation of symptoms are, um, a lot of times it comes back to loneliness, um, whether it's broken relationship with others or broken relationship with themselves. Learning to sounds really cheesy but like be friends with yourself like love yourself um, and then be able to love other people too technically i work for sound but i'm kind of like a rogue agent being in fair start which is an adult culinary um, job training program for adults that are coming out of um, incarceration or homelessness. I get to do one-on-one -on -one therapy, so part of it feels sort of like more traditional, like private practice style stuff, but I get to encounter a lot of people. Like I said, being involved with the legal system, um, a lot of substance use related stuff, trauma, all age ranges, all different walks of life. I've kind of borrowed all of these things from different professors in different classes and even interactions with classmates and practicum and things like that, that all shape who I am when I sit with my clients. If I hadn't really done the hard work myself first and struggled through it and sat with my own heartache, there's no way I'd be able to do this with my clients, it's just too much. Sometimes I hear things that are shocking and are heartbreaking and very difficult to sit with. And if I didn't learn how to do that at school first, um, I wouldn't be able to at all. I have this wealth of theory and all of that is very, very important and kind of giving me something to work on, but it's that plus the experiential learning bit. The two of them together is what gives me my leg to stand on when I'm sitting with clients. I've met just some of the most creative and amazing people during my time here. Um, not just my classmates, but my professors too. I highly respect and value my professors. So to have to have them to learn from, but then also my colleagues, my classmates, to talk about ideas with out of class, or um, now that we're all in our internship, my cohort, it's so nice to have a community of people that are going through it too, that I can say, I had a really 
tough day today. Have you ever dealt with this? And they get it for me personally. And now as I'm shifting into the professional world, they mean a lot to me. Thank you.